Breaking news, a new turn indeed. You will be very <laughs> flabbergasted, shocked, if that's the word you would prefer. Court orders police to pay 50 million over arrests by Abba Kiari. Things are turning and um, we're going to be getting to the very bottom of what exactly is going on. Abba Kiari is the celebrated cop who has seen himself disgraced as a result of poor choices. Abba Kiari has been dealing with somebody who has been committing money laundry. You can call it uh, Yahweh Yahu fraudulent and so on. And so this young man, this police that has rightly been celebrated from the north, according to Northern Elder, said they thought he was going to be the next IGP of police has been requested extradition by the United States of America. As we speak right now, court has ordered that 50 million Naira be paid over arrest by Abba Kiari. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. A federal capital territory high court sitting in Gado, judicial Judiciary Division, Abuja, has ordered the Nigerian police force to pay a fine of 50 million over the illegal arrest and detention of Mrs. Ungozi Amadu by officer of the Intelligent Response Team, IRT, when it was being led by the embittered police chief, Abakiari. Madu is being represented by IPOB lawyer Ife, Ife Inwa Ejofo. He has instigated a court case against the police over the illegal arrest, torture, continuous detention of Mrs. Madu since February 2021 till date. In a judgment delivered on Thursday morning, Honorable Justice Modukbe of Court Number 28, Gadu, Judiciary Division Abuja, declared Umadi's arrest and continuous detention by the operative of the Inspector General of Police Intelligent Response Unit, Hirato, led by Abba Kiari, illegal and a gross violation of her fundamental human rights. The court further directed for her immediate and unconditional release from custody and consequently awarded the aggravated demands damages of 50 million naira only against the police as restitution for what they have done. The court further directed that her judgment against the police under the tenants of unreserved, the police offer an unreserved apology to Mrs. Ungozi, which Apology will be published in two national dailies speaking on the case. Ms. Her lawyer, Ejomafo, Ej said, We shall leave no stone unturned to ensure that the terms of the judgment is carried out to the letter. We shall also speedily follow up on prompt compliance with these terms and conditions while other pending application affecting others are still in the on the way we are doing our best we do not lose hope we will continue to win however he assured that justice can only be delivered can only be delayed but will definitely not be denied and will be delivered all persons illegally arrested and still being detained in the lawless nigerian security agencies shall all get justice as we are relentless over this issue. So welcome to Nigeria, where injustice takes the order of the day. So much so that the former president of America, Donald Trump, once said, why is there no justice in Nigeria? Why is there no, you know, uh, obedience to law? Uh, he was speaking in terms of what happened in the case of Amoyele Showere, when courts continuously ordered 
that Omoyele Showere should be released from detention and from prison. And guess what? Nigerian police and uh, every one of them failed to take heed. Right now, what we are hearing and what all that is going on, you know, is a clear case of what has been going on in Nigeria. A lot of persons are still being detained illegally. Do you know one of the things that is going on right now? I saw a young man who is in jail as we speak. What is his crime? Police intercepted him on the way and they said, well, he should pay some sum of money. You know when they say, inner light, what do you get for day? Give us something. Well, they said that and at the end of the day, this young man called the policeman a thief. And guess what? He's been jailed for two years. Yes, you heard me. For calling the policeman a thief. What is happening today? Injustice. Is Ni are Nigerian police not really who they say they are to a large extent? Although not all. We cannot use one umbrella to cover everybody. But largely, this is part of what is going on. As you and I speak, a lot of injustice is being done in Nigeria. And we cannot keep quiet and allow these things to happen. There are indications that some persons wants to keep Nigeria bound in their own position and what they think and what they feel. Keep Nigeria in their own cocoon. But guess what? Nigerians have a right to rise up and say no. I'm saying no to this current oppression being instigated by some people. You know, Nigerians have the right to speak. And so these are some of the things going on. So we need to now rise up and say no to oppression. People are in police custody for doing nothing. Imagine that young man. Because he called the policeman a thief who was trying to extract money from him. From him. Yeah? He's going to be jailed for two years. Why? He has nobody. He has nobody. Because he has nobody. So, as we all look at what is going on, there is clear indication that we must rise up as a people. And, you know, continue to rise up for what is right. If we say no and we continue to keep quiet, we will discover that our very, our very purpose of existence will be eroded by some selfish people. The reason why everybody should rise up. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.